Alright, what's up guys? So, today is the start of a brand new series. Um, up so last week I started this channel, and uh, so far, so good. Um, Pullside Mystery, um, obviously by now you guys have already seen Pullside Mystery Episode 2, and then what I've seen throughout the week, uh, Episode 2. So... So this series is going to be very interesting. It's going to be the first series that I do that is completely real. So, so basically this series will be real paranormal stories. I see you get that by the title. It will be about between 8 and 10 stories a, a season. And then I'm going to take two weeks off. And in those two weeks, you'll get a recap and then a short film. So, um, or two short films. I have not decided yet, but uh, this is going to be fun. Because this series could go on for 10 seasons. It could go on for 30 seasons. I don't know. Because there's a lot of stories to tell. A bunch of stories to tell. So, basically, the stories that, you go, that you're going to hear are going to be all told by me, um, unless the person from their story, they want to tell it themselves, or they'll just give me permission to tell their story. And, basically, uh, basically it'll be from me, my family, friends, or significant other. And basically, the series will go on as long as people have stories to tell. So, I'm going to start with my story. Now, basically, every story you're going to hear, you can see on the main channel, but uh, usually those aren't, uh, aren't too long. This, uh, and basically, you get any amount of time that you want. Uh, whether it's five minutes or hour and five minutes, doesn't matter. So, let's just start. So, I was in seventh grade, so this was middle school. And middle school was probably almost ten years ago, because I'll be 22 in about a month. So, yeah. Um, well, when this video comes out, It'll only be about three weeks. Um, so, I was 13 at the time. And it was around testing time. It was storming like crazy out. And it was storming so hard that all the lights went out. And it was the middle of testing. Because this, this is around when, like, and the year was. And, like... Whatever the test is called at the end of the year, I forgot what it was called, but because uh, it definitely wasn't finals. Um, so all the lights go out, emergency lights come on, and our room was right right next to the janitor's room. So the janitor comes by, and basically, if you finish your test, you can go out into the hallway and discuss quietly. Uh, amongst your friends or read a book, whatever. So, went out there to my very close friends. I'm still very close to this day. Uh, they both came out there. And we're discussing quietly, and then Janner comes by, uh, calls for the teacher, and says, "Can I have any anybody that's free, any student that's free?" to help make sure that um, all the emergency lights are on. Just tell them, hey, this floor is cleared, all that stuff. Because there was only one janitor at the time. Um, the school was uh, super old and, uh, I mean, it was taken care of, but you know, only one janitor, I mean, come on. Um, this school was pretty big, it fit about 700 to 1,000 people. There's only one janitor that day. Um, 
So, uh, us three, we just said, yeah, we'll go. So, we, uh, he says that he will go through all the floors upstairs, because uh, there's two floors. There was, I mean, there was a third floor, but that was all for storage. Um, so, but it wasn't, it wasn't called the third floor, it was just like a thing where old, like, desks were put and all that stuff, but, um, so we went downstairs. Basically, if you go through these doors, there would be the gym, and then right next to it would be the cafeteria. And then down the hall would, to the left would be uh, bathrooms, and then would be the back way to go outside towards the football field and all that stuff. So we were walking towards the cafeteria. As soon as we went there, a, by the end of the hall, by the bathrooms, the lights started flickering. And I was like, that's, that's weird. Because I thought all the lights went out. And one of my friends said, yeah, they did all go outside on the why. So we all went in there, and it was flickering on and off, on and off. And no students were supposed to be um, by the bathrooms or anything during testing time, unless you you had to, and you had like a pass or something like that. So we go in there. As soon as we go in there, the light stops flickering. So obviously we think that's odd, and. But no one's in there. It's one way in, one way out, like most bathrooms. Nobody was in there. Lights stopped flickering as soon as we got in there. Um, but that was it. So, we go out the bathroom, go past the gym, cafeteria, and we head towards the auditorium. And basically, through the front door, you turn to the right, and there's this auditor. It's really creepy looking. And, and basically, if you go down that hallway, turn to the right, would be the band room and all that stuff. So, we, we go, we're going to the right side, so the auditorium. And all of a sudden, we see this kid go from the back of, uh, of the wall towards the auditorium and into the auditorium doors. And that was weird. That was creepy and weird. And not only that, but the kid did not look like he was wearing basically our dress code for that time so we go into the auditorium doors it's really stupid and and uh, we go in we go down down near the stage area and all of a sudden the left side of the stage the kid walks towards the right side turns and smiles at us this creepy this creepy ass smile just and basically he goes into the um, so basically the left side you can go out you can go the backstage and go out the doors and you're right by the band room but the right side is by the chairs and there's only one way and one way out it's just chairs you can't hide in there so we go in there we're, we're trying to find this kid we can't so that got a little too creepy so we went out of there ramps so the next day we 
go in. We basically ask the next day um, if if anybody has been working here for a long time. Because basically, we what we want to know is if is if there's been stories like this years prior. So we go up to this guy that's been working there for like 40 years. I mean, he's been working there since like, I want to say the late 60s. So we go in there and we say, hey, we saw something weird yesterday. We don't know if you'll believe us or not. And he says, hold on a second. So he gets a yearbook. It says like 1979. He turns to a page. He says, is this what you saw? We look and it's that kid. So how the hell did we see a kid from 1979? The kid was the same age as us in 1979, he would have been, he would have been 41, so, that doesn't make sense, we're like, yeah, that, that, that was a kid, and he was like, okay, sit down, I'll write you a pass, um, so you don't get in trouble, but you might want to sit down, so we sit down, he basically tells the story about basically why people are seeing this kid still. He says it was around, you know, right around this time in 1979, a, a kid died. Um, it was around the same time, but I guess back then school ended a, a little bit earlier so it must have been around because we only had about a few weeks left of school because um, I remember my dad saying that he graduated in April and I was like oh, hell did you? damn I wish school ended in April back then now I don't mind that school April's that school ends in May or June now I don't mind but uh, yeah so school's out Basically, a kid, that kid, died on school property, but he didn't say why. And I think I know why, because basically the school wants, doesn't want that, you know, out. Um, so rumors don't spread and all that stuff, so I understand that. But, so, basically this kid dies. And since the mid-80s, around, like, 83, 84, 85, basically kids started coming to him about these paranormal experiences where they would see this kid all around the school, but more so by the auditorium, because I guess that's where he died, um, and he, and I guess that he was in band, so I, I, I mean, I guess it does make sense, you know, if he's in band, he would be on the stage, behind the stage and all that stuff if he was a band so it makes sense but it's one of the creepiest experiences I've ever had not the creepiest but uh, that's for that's for a different time but uh, yeah so it's about 14 minutes that's a good story so next week I'll probably talk about um, my significant others paranormal experience which is really creepy um Hopefully I can get her permission. If she wants to come on here, then that's fine. Um, she's super busy, so. Um, but, yeah. So, maybe that. Uh, or one of my friends. Because um, everybody, everybody that I'm friends with, all my family members, um, have ghost stories. So, I mean, whether this, this season goes on for, you know... 10 episodes or 15 episodes, because basically, it'll be like this, um, every season will have a certain amount of episodes, until, 
there is no more except one. Once there is no more stories, that's when the series ends. So if we end with uh, just a five minute story, then that's how we end. But uh, yeah, so whether this goes on for, like I said, 10 seasons, 20, 30, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so make sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.